I am Anil Kumar and now we will explore rational equations of the form f of x equals to ax plus b divided by cx plus t. Consider the function f of x equals to 2x plus 5 divided by 3x plus 7. We need to find x intercept, y intercept, vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote, domain and range of the given function. Right? Now what is x intercept? x intercept is a point where the graph of the function will cross the x axis so at that point value of the function is zero that means at that point f of x is equals to zero so if i equate f of x as zero what do i get i get zero equals to 2x plus 5 divided by 3x plus 7. now to solve this equation numerator should be zero right or you can cross multiply 0 by 3x plus 7. You get 0 equals to 2x plus 5. So what we get is 0 equals to 2x plus 5. And solve for x, we get bringing 5 here. And then we have to divide by 2. That is the value of x. So we get x intercept as minus. So we get x equals to minus 5 over 2, right? So that is this value, minus 5 over 2 that is what we get. Now general solution will be if I am using ax plus b then as you can see 5 is the b value right. So let me write the general solutions on the left side for each one of them. So it is minus b by a. So x intercept is minus b by a. Okay. Now let us find the y intercept. Now y intercept is the point where the x value is 0. So we will replace x with 0. That means f of 0 is y intercept. So what we get is a times 0 plus b. b in this case is 5. Let me write 2. We are solving this equation. Okay, 2 times 0 plus 5 divided by 3 times 0 plus 7. So we get 5 over 7. Ratio of these two, right? So the y intercept is at y equals to 5 over 7, right? So as you have seen here, the y-intercept is b over d, right? So let me write here b over d. Now let's find the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes will be when the denominator is 0. That is to say that in this given equation, 3x plus 7 equals to 0. So equate denominator to 0. So 3x plus 7 equals to 0. Now solve for x. So x equals to minus 7 divided by 3 right so in this case vertical asymptote is a vertical line which is x equals to minus 7 over 3 right now from this general value minus 7 over 3 right so we can now write down vertical asymptote as minus 7 is d value right so d over 3 which is c right so minus d over c now let's look into horizontal asymptote. Now to solve for horizontal asymptote, what I will do is I'll rewrite the function to explain you the steps. We can write the function as f of x equals to, let me take x as a common factor. So I get x times a plus b over x. And in the denominator also I can take x as a common factor, c plus d over x, right? Now horizontal asymptote, we are looking for a, the value of the function as x approaches to a large negative infinity value or x is approaching to a large positive infinity value. That means very large values. Now in either case, when x is approaching a large value, b over x, something over x or even d over x, they will approach zero. Is that okay? Because x is large. So if you divide something by a large value, say infinity, 1000, 10,000, then you're approaching zero. So these values are zero. X and X cancel out. So we get F of X approaches, I should write like this, is approaching A over C. Do you see that? We get A over C as our answer, right? So for horizontal asymptote, it's a horizontal line where F of X means Y approaches. So Y is equals to A over C. A over C, right? In our case, A is 2, C is 3, so we get 2 over 3, correct? So write horizontal asymptote for
for a function is ratio of leading coefficients which is a over c okay now these are the general characteristics which you can straight away read from this equation and that is why we are discussing this equation in details right so if our equation is given in the form of ax plus b divided by cx plus d you know x intercept is when numerator is 0 that is when x is minus b divided by a y intercept is when x is 0 so it is ratio of b and d vertical asymptote is when denominator is 0 so minus d divided by c horizontal asymptote is the ratio of these two leading coefficients a over c now domain now for this function the domain will always be x belongs to real numbers with one exception that is it will not have the thing which makes x value which makes denominator 0 that means the vertical asymptote right so where x is not equal to in this case minus 7 over 3 right so that is minus d over c right in general and as far as the range is concerned y belongs to real numbers but y is not equal to 0 since that is our horizontal asymptote correct so vertical and horizontal asymptotes directly relate to domain and range for the function correct so that is how you can understand and appreciate this form of the equation for rational functions right so I hope if you go through it once again you will understand how we calculated each and every value and how we found the characteristics of the function right in following videos we learn more about the rational functions in this form I hope that helps thank you